All right, and we are back, my friends. Thank you for your patience. Took uh, longer than I intended, but uh, welcome back. This is Disney Illusion Island. This is a, a game on the Switch. It's a uh, kind of a Metroidvania type game. We've been playing it for a while. So I thought we're about 80% uh, complete. And uh, the idea would be to try and finish it tonight, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. This is a, uh, this is a I'm finding this to be a very enjoyable game. It's um, it's on the easier side of things. Um, let's see. So we've played as Mickey and we've played as Goofy. So. Uh, we have Donald and Minnie left. I think I'm gonna pick Minnie. <laughs> I'm scared of the, of the notion of having to listen to Donald all night. <laughs> the character differences are purely cosmetic. Welcome back. Thank you, Waz. Uh, Tommy, welcome in. Hope you've had a great weekend. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing all right. Doing all right. My weekend went by too quickly. I slept it all away. I slept. I slept way too much yesterday and today, and so the weekend felt rather non-existent. So that that's a shame, but it's also you know like my own doing. So it is what it is. Well, my software finished downloading. That's nice. All right, so we need to go over here, but. We also need to go down here, so. Might take me a moment to uh, remember what's what with this game. Time is hard. Uh, the carrying case has a hidden compartment with a little game case. You can put four games in it under the switch strap and cover for the switch itself. Another compartment up top. Looks really dope. It was only 10 bucks. Oh, I missed uh, I think I missed a... Oh, yeah, there it is. My order shipped for tomorrow. Speaking of the Switch, Breath of the Wild uh, 512 uh, SD card and Switch Lite carrying case. Oh, nice. I've got a... Uh, I've got a couple of carrying cases for my Switch. I never use them because I never take my Switch anywhere and I never take it out of the dock. My uh, my 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 Switch is a is a don't switch. It just it stays plugged in 100% of the time, basically. So I've been uh, I've been enjoying this game quite a bit. It's um, I guess the best way to describe it, it's a lot like Hollow Knight with no combat. If that uh, sounds like something that could be appealing to you, then you might enjoy this game. It's on the uh, it's on the easy side, but uh, I mean I certainly have lost I certainly have lost a handful of lives here and there <laughs> to some of the jumping obstacles. But it's got a it's got an interesting world to explore. It looks pretty good. Sounds pretty good. The movement is very satisfying. It's fun to just explore the game because it's fun to move your character about through the world. And there's lots of collectibles. Oh. 
allow me to just move into the enemy projectile. It's a cute game, Chozo says. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty good. I'm. Uh, I'm enjoying my time with it. We just got the ability to swim last time we played, so. This area down here, lots of new territory. Oh, I see. I'm really, I'm really just terrible at dodging projectiles. <laughs> kind of run into 100% of them. Have you played The Messenger? I haven't. I've heard it's really good. What's going on? I see what's going on. I was too slow. to fade. Oh no, can I not get through here? I hit a dead end. Oh no. I've got to go back up and around. Oh, there's, that's a switch. Never mind. Everything's fine. There's too many games and not enough time. I know. It's a pretty good game. I think I'll probably get around to getting it sometime. It's been on my it's been on my wish list on the Switch for like forever. Hey, just when I needed some health. Look at that. Started Sea of Stars a couple weeks ago. Same dev as the messenger. heard that title but I don't actually uh, I don't actually know the game yeah let's scroll through the tokens and just see if anything is new well something's got to be so we just picked one up they're almost all filled in well I didn't see a new thing on any of them that's weird check out our memorabilia checklist it's coming along quite nicely that one's complete even the ones that aren't complete are really close to it so yeah yeah we're doing good on the collectibles uh new reward perfect Can I not read these? Yeah, there we go. The sky below. You haven't seen true beauty until you've bathed in the light of the sky below. This once traditional oceanscape took on its current form when filled with juice from the cracked moons. 
Now a galactic oceanic wonderland, there are interesting creatures and critters to be found within its depths. The sky below is split into layers, each owned by different companies for the harvesting of moon juice. That is, when smugglers aren't intercepting deliveries. Everything you see here will open your eyes to a strange new underwater vision, a hybrid of ocean and space where structures float as if in anti-gravity. Uh, originally an area inhabited exclusively by fishing folk, Astrono is now where people of Monoth flock to join the ever-growing moon juice industry. From canning companies, beauty moguls, and smugglers, everyone here is trying to get a slice of that moon juice pie. However, amongst the busy life of Crater's Bay, you will still find those who take the time to truly marvel at the beauty of the underwater galaxies and floating pools. It is home to a rich variety of characters, such as the mayor of Crater's Bay, who can often be found in the town center. Get our dose of lore. It's a big, strange world in this game. Lots of, uh, lots of lore. There's a lot you can read about. This is an appointment tomorrow at 10, so we've got to get to bed. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you for being here, Claire. Really appreciate your company. Hope your appointment tomorrow goes smoothly. Sleep well, be well rested. And uh, we'll look for you again. Hopefully we'll get to see you another time real soon. No, I perished. I guess that accomplished what I wanted to do anyway. Because I was on my way back to the healing thing. The only punishment for death is you go back to your most recent checkpoint. But, like, you don't lose anything. Even, like, the collectibles that you've collected remain collected. So, the the penalty for death is exceedingly, is exceedingly lenient. a checkpoint on both paths, so I don't know which path is progress and which path is collectibles. This might be collectibles. This might loop back to where we came like where we could have come down from on the other side. New Hollow Knight game is coming out at some point. There may be a demo on Switch. It's called Crow Sworn and looks amazing. Is this instead of Silk Song, or is this just a like a tied you over kind of thing? I thought Silk Song was supposed to be the next uh, Hollow Knight thing.
So this is a different thing. Oh, I see it. I'm in a Hollow Knight type game. Oh, okay. Not a, not, okay, yeah, not, not a, not a different thing, same vibe. That might be worth looking, looking at. I did really enjoy uh, Hollow Knight. I like my Metroid style games to be truly Metroid in style. I like them to be without the uh, RPG like numbers mechanics that so many uh, Metroid style Castlevanias have. So that's why Hollow Knight really appealed to me. You know, this game is like that. It's all, yeah, it's all fine. It's all fine, Chozo. Yeah, I thought, I thought maybe the thing, that it was just that Silk Song was taking so long, they decided to release a, like a miniature filler game to help people not worry so much. I don't know what the purpose of that switch was. Maybe something over here. D dead again. Been playing Super Metroid again on the Switch. Game holds up. I played it for the first time a year or two ago. I've played four Metroid games, and Super Metroid is pretty easily my favorite. They were all good, but none of them are, like, none of them quite have the, the, the brilliance of Super Metroid. Silk Song so bad. I would, I would, I look forward to Silk Song. I hope it's, well, I kind of hope it's not just more Hollow Knight. Like, I hope that it brings significantly new things. Not that just more Hollow Knight would be a bad thing, but my goodness, Hollow Knight is so big. I still haven't even finished everything in it. So, in a way, Silk Song can kind of take its time because I still have stuff to do in Hollow Knight. But the stuff I have left to do in Hollow Knight, I also don't know if I'm ever going to do. I think the only like meaningful things I have left are the are one of the Colosseum battles and a whole bunch of boss rushes. It's a very small team, I'd imagine. I know people don't want the same thing, which is the reason it's taking so long. It's difficult, right? With a sequel, it's always difficult because, like... to be too similar or too different, right? And when you've had a big hit like that, like, everyone loves Hollow Knight. It's gotta be hard to follow up.
Hello. I've been told that under the sea is the place to be. Use this to explore it all. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, that looks like a one-way trip. Dreaded sophomore slump. This is a pretty relaxing game to play for the most part. Every one of those enemies though that shoots out uh, like five projectiles there too. They're basically two versions of that of that same enemy. I don't know what it is about them. I just I just can't thread the needle between their projectiles. I I'm like magnetically attracted to them. <laughs> No, I didn't see the spikes. Yeah, this is the other. It just does it basically the exact same thing with the five projectiles. My uh, my brain just shuts down when those enemies are near. <laughs> like I go out of my way to get hurt by them. Thank you for the hydrate. Oh no, I left my coffee upstairs. It's fine, I got water. I think we unlocked a new thing now? We did. That gets us another heart. We have so many hearts. Okay, two more left for the... Uh... For the big finish there. The Tome of Astronomy, known as Celestial Realms, was created to captivate the mind with the excitement of discovery. It is a book focused on the endless regions of space and all that is to be found there. Though unconfirmed, it is said that there was never truly a gravitational shift in Astrono, but rather the magically magnetic lure of celestial realms, which attracted the stars and caused the moons to crack. Whatever the truth, one story that remains is the Tome of Astronomy has the unquestionable power of an unrealized galaxy. Whatever that means. Oh, threading the needle. Ow. Oh, 
I didn't see my way through there. I don't have to go back over there. Oh, it's such a long way away. We should get it over with now, though. This is a very busy place. There's a lot of stuff going on over here.
Wow, we uh got this next one quick. So there are a hundred ten left to collect. That seems like a lot. Is there a gallery of these things anywhere? I don't think so. I think you have to go, I think you have to find them on the map to look at them all. That's weird. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought these were the same picture. They're shockingly similar. My, uh, my stomach is rumbling fiercely tonight. I had a gigantic dinner. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why my stomach thinks I'm hungry. Old timer, how did you get down here? Oh dear, I do not love this. What's wrong? I heard some strangers were coming for the final tone. Hey, we're strangers. I wonder if it's us. Oh no. And you've got the book? I'm afraid so. Can't you just give it to us, old timer? I would love to, but I'm afraid I can't. So we've got to fight you for it? Ha ha ha, this'll be easy. Donald. Donald. Don't jinx me. Donald, why do you always have to say such things? It's what I do here. Don't want anybody to feel left out. there had to be some form of switch all the bosses are the same the fights are very passive it's just a matter of moving around the arena and hitting switches are what all the boss fights are like Can't I swim in a line? Ooh, 
I did that time and went right out of the arena. I was hoping it wouldn't come this way. I did not get my wish. Oh no. No. That's the first time that's the first time I've died in a boss fight. all because I can't uh, aim my character where I intend to. It's all right, boss. It's a little tedious, but it's pretty all right, uh, boss fight. Can't sleep stack cat says. You got too uh You got too high of a sleep uh, backlog. Phase two, let's go. Give me that heart, please. There's another one on the other side. Perfect. Right, this is gonna be a long battle, so I need to. Uh... Maybe play with some degree of caution. in six hours. Oh no. Yeah, you need to get some sleep. Uh, 
I know you know that, and you know, just me telling you that you already know doesn't do anything to help. I could be wrong, maybe you're gonna have a really easy day at work tomorrow, but... so many emails over the weekend. Cool. Oh, we get to start here. There's a, there was a checkpoint. This is an easy game. Looks like it's spell time. TBD, 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 TBD. Oh, I just love being defeated. It makes the next victory that much sweeter. Good luck with that. Uh, my work has 24-hour inpatient rehabilitation services, so emails stack up over the weekend. <laughs> hey, where's the tome of what's her deal? <laughs> oh, maybe that's what's blocking the mail chute. Ah. It's a round book, the last book. <laughs> I'll get it. Tome of Astronomy. Be careful, Goofy. Looks like it might. Gold. I don't know what's happening now. I feel like I was in the middle of saying something and I... Lost my train of thought. <laughs> that was fun. Then it wasn't. Then it was again. What matters is we have the last book. So that's all three. Our quest is over. We stop the thieves. And save the day. Those small and weak tokens will be so happy. I'll be happy when we're out of here. Let's go find Toku. Alright. Well, let's...
let's see where we are. Thank you for the GG. Looks like a spool of astronomy. It does, it does. Well, I'm in some strange place in just the middle of the world map, it would appear. Oh, I know where I am. The book bookshelf is a jukebox. This place to life. <laughs> Beep boop. This place is for robots only, hence the disguise. Here's your map piece. Thought the map would reveal that this place was secretly gigantic. Did we get everything there was to get down here? Looking pretty good. Okay, great. I saw a lot of hundred percents over in that area. That's what we want to see. Nightshaw Waz says, "Good night, Waz. Thank you for uh, being here with us. Uh, as always, really appreciate uh, your company. Hope you enjoy the rest of your night, and uh, we we'll look forward to seeing you again, hopefully next time or real soon. Otherwise, Hello. time oh I'd like to be I'd like to be wrapped with this within like an hour and a half it's 5 a.m. for me right now I think I could go until about 6 6 30 
really hope that the final boss, you know, final challenge of this doesn't, like, out of nowhere become unbearable. It's a, just a it's just a loop. All right, we got everything though. So we gotta hit. Basically, have to explore all of the left hand side of the map over again completely. That's a lot. Uh, this is a lot of area to cover. I think probably get through it all in an hour. Surprise Echo Boss at the end with the Machine 2.0. Uh, yeah, I think that would, I think, I think that would make me cry. So I need to go up to this bookcase. I think that's the only place I'm not at 100%. And the, uh, in the top area, I think. We got all the rest. So yeah, why don't we rush up there? Where am I now? I know there's a fast travel. I don't really know how it works. Can we can we fast travel to a checkpoint? No. I don't understand how the fast travel works. Oh well. Who needs fast travel? I'm fast enough as it is. It's okay to let out your pain through tears. Good thing, good thing, because I've uh, I've never hesitated to I've never hesitated to cry before. That's for sure. Video games make me do that constantly. Cacti here. Cacti? Cacti? Cactuses. Thank you. 
the game world here is a little on the big side, you know? There's a, there's a fair amount of real estate here. Nice. fingers. hey, thank you for the raid. Let's uh, get a shout out here. Buddha fingers for our good friend. Looks like you're playing Assassin's Creed Black Flag. The game treated you well. Those Assassin's Creed games look gigantic to me. 8K, welcome in. Pleasure to have you here tonight. Hope you are well. Hope you've had a good weekend. Been a while. Been a little while. Not, uh, not terribly long, but a short while. Certainly uh, hope you've been doing well. And I'm grateful to have you back with us again somewhere safe to stand. Uh, I was swashbuckling. <laughs> some uh, some adventures worthy of Errol Flynn, no doubt. Whoa. Alright, here we are. At long last, we finally made it up to the book. I, uh, we started the night off with Aladdin, chasing the 100% deathless run. I failed. I let everyone down. I got, I got close, I got close once, and I got close-ish a few times after that. But I don't know. I just couldn't make it happen tonight. I thought. I thought it was gonna come real easily. I thought, you know, probably I'd, I'd get the Aladdin run within the first hour of the stream, and then we'd spend the whole rest of the night on this game. I spent four hours on Aladdin and still didn't get it. Uh, it's a sad, it's a sad story I have to tell tonight. Uh, we'll try. We're actually gonna try it again tomorrow. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump right back into it. I'm gonna start the stream. We've got Wario Land is the only game on the schedule for tomorrow, but I'm gonna try and start with Aladdin. We'll give it another go. This game, I think I have a real good chance of finishing up tonight. Uh, Kay says, been busy lately. Hopefully, uh, hopefully busy in a good way. To, uh, if you've got to fill up your time with a lot of busyness, you know, at the very least, I would hope that it's not full of things that you would rather not be doing at all. Sort of. Sort of a disappointment, as I learned... The game audio wasn't there. Oh, it wasn't there for the viewers? That's a shame. But pirating was had. Oh, I need to go up there and get that 
extra heart. My, my doom approaches. No, I took more damage. Oh, I thought the journey up here was like, I thought the journey up here was going to be long enough, but the journey back is even longer because there's a, there's a one-way gate. There was a one-way gate on our way up, so getting back down out of here is actually very, very tedious. They're making us, they're making us work for a hundred, for a hundred percent. jump into those spikes just to get my health back. Fantastic. Alright, so everything in the top portion should be at 100%. Everything in the east... Everything in the area below. So it's just everything to the right. Over and down, and then oh, over and up. This is just so big that it's, it's a lot of ground to cover. I looked at the clock and I read it wrong, and for a moment I thought I'd lost an hour. <laughs> I thought it said 6.07. I was about to be terrified by the loss of time. Alright, so there's a card, and there's two Mickey photos. that the paper airplane makes when we use it. One of the, like, it makes like a page turning sound effect. 
There's kind of a clicky quality to it. Makes me think of, uh, I think I've heard the sound effect in another game. It sounds like, I don't know, like maybe the page turning from Shadowgate or something. Shadowgate 64. It's probably not the exact same sound effect, but... It's kind of similar. Well, I guess all paper rustling noises are kind of similar. One more Mickey photo in this area. Let's go. Down into the world below. So, and the deep roots are missing a whole lot of stuff. A lot of Mickey photos. Is perhaps somewhat distressing that I haven't found any Mickey photos. Oh no, it's not. The deep roots area is all the stuff on the left. It's fine. There's plenty of space to uh, have the hidden stuff, and I know where the card's gonna be too. In that case. Oh no! That's a one-way trip. Ow!
one. I don't know what that is. It looks like a hollowed out bulb of garlic with a bunch of gold coins stuffed inside. Looks like there should be a secret in the wall there. One of those, like, wall jumping sound effects. Sounds like a can of Coke opening. Oh, I see a Mickey. I found that one. The game, the, like... The like hidden Mickey radar didn't even chime. I'd already seen it by the time it did. Hey, let's go. test my gamer skills and uh, see if I can see the hidden Mickey heads before uh, before the radar alerts me. I am in trouble actually. I've already been through this whole area and didn't find the third one. Oh, never mind. Well, I didn't find that one. Uh, thank you for the hydrate, K. Take an opportunity to enjoy some water. Cooling down the pipes. Alright, that area is 100%. Now, this one over here. There's one photo missing. Alright, that should be very manageable. Thank you. 
kind of wish the uh, I kind of wish the radar thing was not on by default. And yeah, you can you can turn it off, so it's kind of on me for leaving it on, but. I don't know, on a first playthrough of a game, like... I kind of want to leave the options, like, as close to default as possible. And as much as I am enjoying this game, I doubt I'll ever play it again. <laughs> I doubt there'll ever be a replay. A lot of stuff going on in this part of the map.
got 45 of those little fire collectibles left to get. So it still seems like a ton. I did not remember right. Oh, I didn't see that platform on the right. Thank goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. No! Hey, alright. So, that is good. Uh, my friends, I talked about going for much longer than I think I'm going to, but I am I am really just running out of steam, and I think that probably I shouldn't push it. There is a, quite a bit left to backtrack through up here. I think we're gonna I think we're actually gonna leave off. I think we're actually gonna leave off here, my friends, because <laughs> I am uh, I, I'm fading I'm fading real fast. I wanted to get through this game tonight. I don't think it can happen. Uh, maybe we'll work on this one tomorrow night too, though. <laughs> Poor Wario Land. I scheduled Wario Land for a whole night on Monday night all by itself, and now it's time. It's just getting eaten away by tonight's stuff. <laughs> so, I don't know. Provided I start on time or early, we might actually play Aladdin and this and Wario Land tomorrow. So, uh, we'll see. We need to be flex. Uh, I need to ask for some flexibility, I think. Um, hopefully, that will not be uh, too uh, disagreeable for you, my friends. <laughs> Ah, uh, good night, Frowny. Should be taking off too, as I'm getting sleepy as well. Thank you again for the raid, Angelus. Uh, Kay says, resting is important, isn't it ever? So uh, thank you for being here, my friends. I will uh, send us off on a. Uh, I'll send us off on a raid. I have. Uh, I'm very grateful to have been able to enjoy your company tonight, my friends. Here's a uh, look at what the upcoming schedule should be like. So tomorrow night, Wario Land three, probably you know, hopefully also gonna do a little bit of time at the beginning for uh, Aladdin and uh, and or this game to uh, get those finished up before we move into Wario Land so um, if that's if Wario Land is your primary interest probably gonna be in the later part of the stream and we've got a new game Master Spy coming up on Tuesday along with the continued struggle and suffering that is Jump King so uh, that's our immediate future, but you can see the rest of the week there is kind of sketched out as well. Um, so hopefully I get to see you for some of that. 
What is in this in direction of man burning? I haven't seen him in a very long time. Uh, man burning, very friendly streamer. Got a got a very great stream. Very active, like community. Does a they do a lot of like uh, man burning does a lot of like games with uh, chat particip chat and viewer participation and uh, things like that. Um, but he's playing a sea of stars. Uh, tonight, which was, uh, I believe we talked about a little bit, so I can uh, maybe get a peek and see what this game is uh, kind of like. It looks like an RPG. Um, has a sort of a retro vibe uh, about the look of it, though. It looks kind of pretty from uh, what I'm seeing here in the thumbnail. Um, not a family-friendly stream. There's a lot of uh, mature language and uh, topics of conversation over in this direction. Just a heads up about that, if that's not your thing. Uh, but if you come along, I think uh, you are uh, going to really enjoy yourselves, my friends. But uh, that's it for me. Uh, one last time, thank you. Thank you very much for being here with me. I hope I get to see you again very soon. Be well until then. We're all out of stuff to do for tonight, though, my friends. It's time to head out. Let's go on an adventure.